Hello, my fellow Ghoul Renegade. Welcome back to a brand new video of Ghoulish Reacts. And today we are back with Season 2 of Chris Straub's Local 58. Now, in the last video, we ended up watching all of Season 1, and today we're going to be going through all of Season 2. Now, one thing I would like to admit, and I kind of found this out recently, that even after Season 2, we still have actually one more video to watch. Yeah, it's not in the main video section, but it's hidden away in the playlist section of this channel. So, and it's a special presentation, as Chris puts it. So we're going to get through all of Season 2 today, and then we're going to watch that special presentation video for the next video to finally end off this series as of now. So, the first video we have of Season 2 is Show for Children. Without further ado, let us get right into it. Okay, Local 58 Community Television. Oh, is that my hair on my face? Alright, 4.15 a.m. Show with Children, 5 a.m. Community Roundtable, 5.20, Focus on Culture, 6.05, Morning Local News. You're watching Local 58. Yes, indeed, we are. Okay, Local 58, Children, uh, Show for Children. Okay. Creepy clown. Okay, so what does it say? Thimble Pictures presents Cadaver and a Grave Mistake, animation by Ike Withersham, and music by Carl Schilling. Copyright, Thimble Pictures Incorporated. Okay. Or corporation, sorry. Okay, so we're taking place with our little dude Cadaver. He's in a graveyard, and the moon is looking at him. Smiling at him, specifically. Okay, so he's looking for his wife slash girlfriend, I believe. Oh, that's totally not creepy at all. <laughs> Scares the heck out of Cadaver, and he's like, Nope, bro, gotta get out of here. Okay, so Cadaver is a little more scared now. The moon is still looking at him, smiling creepily. Okay, so he's gonna check the second grave. And the moon's looking in on him this time. Ooh, it's like a weird lizard. And he runs away. Oh, there's the flash of that weird body again. The moon looks petrified, or it's just blankly staring at him. All the music is cut out. Okay, so Cadaver's gonna check what's inside this grave. And it's a bottomless pit. Interesting, interesting, gotta say. So we're going down the pit. Oh, it's a cave system. Looks like there's blood on the rocks. This cadaver is cold, it seems like it. I wonder, can skeletons even get cold? I mean, they don't have skin. But I guess cadaver is just like built different, you know? Wait, there's a hole within a hole inside the, inside the cave? Okay, so Cadaver climbed into this grave and just laid there. And there's the cave, the hole of the cave he was just in. Closes his eyes. Oh, there's the moon! Oh, and Cadaver's dead! Like, legit dead! He turned back into, like, a normal skeleton. He said, see you next time. Show for Children by Chris Job. Wow, okay. Huh, that's weird. Okay, so this is, once again, proving the fact, or further driving home the point, that the moon is some type of malevolent entity of some kind. Uh, I don't know exactly what exactly, but it's some type, like I kind of theorized in the last video, the moon is some type of, like, Lovecraftian monster or eldritch horror from the space, from the cosmos. It's kind of like a... Oh, what's it? it? I'm, I'm going to make a reference to Gemini Home Entertainment here. It's kind of like the Iris from Gemini Home, Home Entertainment, for those of you who've seen that. Uh, I watched it a long time ago, but I barely remember bits and pieces of it. But the only reason why I remember the Iris specifically is simply because there's another thing that I watched 
and there's also something in that called the iris as well uh da games i watch da games and his story is called iris and he has a he has a symbol called the iris for his original music and uh his storytelling um and that's how i kind of connected the two okay our next video is called a look back thank you what i didn't get to read that thank you from the wlcv tv lineup okay You've always been here. Okay. Ooh. We send signals to ourselves through their domain. Did we really believe they wouldn't? Wait, hold on. Wait, what? They wouldn't add their own. Ooh. Okay, kind of creepy. Oh, these are like flashes of other videos we've seen. Let's go back just a little bit. Stop through the static. Your country needs you with pride. With pride. To say goodbye with pride. Okay. Ooh. Blood's going out the door. There's Cadaver again. Public Eye. Ooh. Your destination so has moved. Your destination has moved. Okay. Interesting. Don't touch that dial. More to come. We begin our broadcast day. Alright. Local 58. Thank you for supporting community television. Okay, that one was kind of interesting. So it's kind of like a, uh, in season two, it's kind of like a recap of everything we've kind of seen so far in season one. And it's just uh, probably, it's more so like a community note from Chris Straub to his viewers saying, thank you for supporting this analog horror series, all that stuff. Okay, our next video is Real Sleep. Okay, Real Sleep, Local 58. Let's go, let's do it. I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this. What is it with this series and, like, making things so fast to read? Okay. This video cassette is non-transferable. It is intended solely for the purpose use of Philip Gerhart, ID 750117. Okay. TRI, Thought Research Initiative. Okay. Real Sleep. Video cassette instruction, 1983 Thought Research Initiative. Okay. So we're getting a video from the 80s. Section 1, Myth versus Fact. Turn to page 7 in your workbook. Okay. Myth or Fact. Dreaming is necessary for regular sleep function. Uh, I'd say a fact. Fact. Uh, modern medicine agrees that REM, rapid eye motion sleep, is necessary for mental health. Okay, cool. So REM sleep, yeah. While dreaming can occur during REM sleep, it is merely correlate, correlation, not casual. Myth or fact, dreams contain symbolism that can predict the future. I'd say myth. Fact, the symbols in dreams arise from the unconscious mind assigning narrative meaning n to a neurochemical waste filtration process. Okay. Precognition is a lie. Okay. Myth or fact? Sleep allows the body and mind to heal and recover. Yeah, I'd say that's fact. Definitely. 100%. Fact. Eight hours of sleep per night is beneficial for both body and mind. Yeah, oh, okay, there we go. However, these benefits are greatly diminished by the frantic nonsensical images and auditory hallucinations we call dreaming. Okay. 
dreaming is the vestige of a primitive mind. Oh, what do you call me, a monkey, bro? You saying I'm an ape? <sighs> Section 2. You call me a caveman? <laughs> the Cleetman map. Turn to page 9 of your workbook. Okay, section 2. I want to learn more about this Cleetman map. You got me in pre Okay. Our studies have allowed us to zero in on neural pathways that dreams exploit in the subconscious mind. Okay. A Cleetman map is an index of electronic activity in a brain burdened by dream stimuli. All right. Once mapped, this activity can be triggered by other controlled stimuli, including via the visual cortex. The opposite effect can be induced by using the inverse of the Cleeton map. Okay, so they're showing us like a little example. Okay. No more dreaming. This is what restful real sleep looks like. REM cycle synchronicity. Post transit, okay. Section three, inducing your anti dream. Close workbooks and watch the screen. Well, I've been watching the screen the whole time. I never had a workbook. So, what are you talking about? No two minds are alike. This instructional video was customized for you using the personalized Cleetman map from your week six sleep session. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I'm liking it so far. Sequence one, visual calibration. Stare directly at the center of your television. Whoa, what the hell? Well, that face looks horrifying. He looks like very scared. He's like, Ooh! Sequence two, cortical memory. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Sequence three. Ablation of subconscious. Listen to the phrase no and repeat it loud. There are no faces. Oh. There are no faces. Oh. There are no faces. Whoa. There are no faces. Oh. I mean, I can make out features of a face, but like, no they're kind of all weird and wrong. Ooh. Sequence four, acceptance. Read each phase without reading. What the? I can't even read that fast. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to read all that. What was that? Good night. You've completed this real sleep program. Most patients report a night of dreaming sleep after only one viewing of this video cassette. Consult your technician if you're experiencing delayed results and or unwanted side effects. Do not see a doctor. Jeez. <laughs> oh, they being for real that? Local 58. Wow. Okay. Interesting. That one... I really don't know how to explain that one. I really don't know how to theorize on that one. How to go down... How to go about it. Like, there's really not much I can say. It was a generalized sleep test, but it went wrong. That's really all I can say. Oh, that one's kind of how the how this fits into the whole story. I don't know. That one's that one's kind of a confusing one for me, guys. Not gonna lie. That one's actually kind of really stumping me. Usually, I can just pick up on something, but the only thing that I really got out of it is that they were trying to force the idea into our heads that dreaming does not help you in a way. Like dreaming's fake. It's fantasy, like what you think in your mind isn't real, isn't like reality, but everything else is. Huh. Okay, our next video is sky watching. Let's get into it.
Oh, they got a new logo. Local 58, WCLV. Tonight, 12 a.m., Skywatching. Okay. 12.30 a.m., City Council Meeting. Recorded October 30th, 1991, and that 2 a.m., Paid Programming. All right. Let's go watch the sky, shall we? Oh. This isn't going to be good. I can already tell. Hey, I wanted to see what that was. Sky watching with Hank Heidemann. Okay. Let me just switch to this. Sky watching. Okay. There's Orion's belt. So there's some dude with a camera and he's zooming in. That has to be Orion's belt. Orion's belt. Okay, I was right. I know only a few of the constellations. I don't know many. What's he looking for? Okay. <clears throat> Contrast. Okay. So he wants us to look at something. Pleiades. Okay. Or Pleiades. Sorry. Oh, is that the moon? So we're in the woods of some kind. We're in the forest. He just put a cover on the camera. Okay, so he uncovered the camera. And there's the moon. Brightness. Turn the brightness down. I would turn it up just a little bit more. His throne. Whose throne? Or is the moon called his throne? I don't know what the T slash W is. Whoa! Oh, he was zooming in. Oh, that's weird. It's like spiny, like tentacly, like slime. Like tissue. Yeah, totally like tissue, like a living organism. Oh, is this this is Chris just reinsuring the fact that the moon is a living entity. There's something wrong with the moon. That's causing all of the weird things that happens in Local 58. That is so weird. The surface looks so weird. It looks so unnatural. Yeah, all that air getting, like moon dust and air getting sucked into wherever. It's like it's breathing. Huh, the surface. There's like a hole, like an arrow pointing to something, or it's just a hole that looks like an arrow. It looks like there's a little city down there. Okay. Oh, it got super close, my lord. Oh! Look at that, look at that, there's a creature. There's like a thing in the moon. It's got a face. And like tentacles. Yeah, there's like a thing inside it. So I was right, it's like a malevolent... Yeah, yeah, look at that, look at that. Let me zoom in on it. Yeah, it's like some kind of like creature living inside the moon. Yeah, the moon's like all ripply and cracked at the bottom. Okay, so I, so I was right, it's some type of like Lovecraftian monster, eldritch horror type thing. Rejoice. Oh. Rejoice, so they want you to be happy about it. 1994. Huh. You can't tell me that's the end. Sky watching local fifty. Oh, okay. Okay, so now that's since that's the end of season two. Oh wait, no, that's not the end. We still have one more video. Okay, one more video, then I'll give my final closing thoughts on this series. Okay, our final video for today is Local Fifty Eight Digital Transition. Let's get into it. Then it's same house. 
Very same room. So you see, <laughs> dead men do tell tales. Will she try to explain it at all? Well, that I would like to hear, because I can't explain it. Interesting. But it happened just the same. <laughs> Directed by John Newman. Okay, so that was some kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, Alfred Hitchcock's horror hour, or like a, or like a the Twilight Zone kind of show. Very old show, probably from like the 30s, maybe 40s, 50s, around there. Uh, that that was interesting. Uh, and at the bottom of that, it said that Local 58 was beginning its digital transition at midnight. Interesting. Okay, so let's continue onward. 1158. All right. Local 58. Did you see LVTV? One interesting fact that I learned about Local 58 is that it, uh, it takes place in West Virginia. I didn't know that uh, before reacting to the series. In accordance with the FCG regulations, uh, Local 58 will finally make the switch from analog broadcast to digital format starting tonight, July 13th, 2021 at midnight. Okay. Older television sets will experience an interruption in service. All righty. Need assistance. Analog TV owners may qualify to receive a free digital conversion kit. For more information, call these numbers. County and local digital info, local 58. Okay. Oh, we only got one minute to go. Ooh, everything's glitching out. Oh, what was that? What was that? Hold on. I gotta go back. Oh, I missed it. Probably wasn't super important, but like... Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Okay, so we're seeing the, uh, the evolution. The evolution of Local 58. How it's gone throughout the years, from the 1930s all the way to modern day. Interesting. Okay, so now we are, here we are in the present day. Ooh, are we getting a new logo sequence? 58, local, community television, digital community television. Oh! Uh, what's that say? Alaska City, Iker Falls, Eden Vale, and the greater Madison County area. Okay, cool. Ooh, it's corrupting. Ooh, remnants of the old analog is still here. That's interesting. Announcement. This station will not be participating in digital conversion at this time. Okay. That's weird. If you're viewing this message, your TV has not been configured for digital reception. Oh, there's stuff in the background. Look, betrayal. I'm the one you watched. I, the always... I, the always here. They make you thought from pieces. They... What in the world does that say? They could have fought something all knife, all knife. Thoughts shape in needles, they dream themselves in knives. Okay. Oh, so you can view it at that very last part. Ah. Oh. 
Uh, here we go. Here's what it reads fully. I, the one you watched, I, the always here, they make you thought from pieces, they cut the thoughts I am, all knife, all knife thoughts, shape in needles, they dream themselves in knives. A very ominous riddle. That top part said something different. I come in through the window. Oh, it's the moon. It's the, the a transmission from the moon again. That's interesting. Go outside now. Ooh. I'm thinking they move. To cut his throat. Only to make a thousand mouths. If he is silenced, we will speak for him. Signs and wonders flood our little sky. No stars above us, only eyes waiting to open. There are other receivers. Warning, federal law <clears throat> imposes severe and criminal penalties for the unauthorized reception of analog frequencies formally allocated to broadcast television. Unauthorized analog reception constitutes a felony with a maximum penalty up to 10, of up to 10 years in prison and or $150,000 fine. My lord, that is crazy. Okay, so that was the end of Local 58 Season 2. Now, uh, as for my final thoughts for this series. Okay, so we clearly have two forces fighting with each other throughout this whole thing. So, just to give a recap of everything that we have seen so far. Local 58 takes place in West Virginia on a small local analog channel or analog TV news channel known as Local 58, where they play the news and other sorts of programs like Cadaver, Cartoons for Children. Um, and there was two forces, two, I guess you could say, extraterrestrial forces that are fighting. Maybe one that's a Lovecraftian monster, possibly Eldritch Horror type being. We have the moon, essentially, that communicates to us through the analog television and some other force now this kind of got me back to thinking episode one but that monster that we saw in episode one maybe that thing wasn't a monster maybe it was an alien of some kind so whether that uh character or creature is associated with the moon i don't know so one other thing that happens in the storyline of local 58 is that the u.s gets taken out by insurmountable enemy forces we are never to explain what these forces are or who they even are um, I guess we could either assume it's by the influence of the moon or maybe aliens, extraterrestrials, monsters, whatever it may be. And later, analog, uh, Local 58 goes through its transition from analog to digital. But then we get another message talking about the moon, how the moon is still very much in control of this entire situation and enti the entirety of Local 58 itself communicating through us through the screen uh, and that's about it uh very interesting the storyline is most definitely cryptic and you can only understand what pretty much chris throws out at you uh hopefully there's some more we can learn within this special presentation video which we're going to be watching very soon uh i've planned that one for next week as i had a lot of stuff going on this week so this video is coming out way later than i wanted it to but yeah, unfortunately guys, that is all the time I have today for this video, so please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications for when I upload new videos, and make sure to follow my social media links down in the description below to join the Ghoul Renegade. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye